I started out as a psychologist. I went to graduate school at the University of Cincinnati. I studied clinical psychology for four years, got everything toward my PhD, was writing my dissertation when I got the opportunity to go to medical school at USC, and I came out here and went to USC Medical School. That was amazing. I'd never been to a place where I could go skiing in one day and sailing the next. It was, this was nirvana. Also, the instruction was very good. I was thrilled to be at USC. Um, graduated, did an internship at LA County General, went on to Mass General in Anesthesiology, wanting to study critical care and anesthesiology. Uh, at the time, Mass General was the only place in North America where the anesthesiologists ran the intensive care units. And I was interested in that. And Long story short, I came back here and finished my residency at UCLA <coughs> and did anesthesia at many local hospitals. I don't think I've anesthetized any of you, but I'm sure I've anesthetized friends and family at many of the institutions you know, including Cedars, Rotman, UCLA, just to name a few. I pioneered a mobile anesthesia service where I went around to offices, to uh, dental offices, to plastic surgeon suites, to even radiology suites. For about 12 years, I ran a, a clinic that did brain scans on autistic children. Well, the brain scans take 43 minutes to do, and the patient has to be motionless throughout the whole thing. So that's very hard for anybody to do. <laughs> It's especially hard for an autistic child. So I was the anesthesiologist who, uh, who kept them relaxed for 43 minutes. And uh, I did that every Tuesday morning for about 15 years. I was always interested, though, in psychology. I was interested in psychology because that was my first love. I was interested in psychology because I was a beneficiary of NAMI. I was sitting in those seats not that long ago for issues in my own family. 